You're, you're here in London to run a digital fashion workshop with yes, your yes. partners. Yep. Tell me how that came about. Um, how that came out, oh, it all started in 2011, having the idea like, how, wouldn't it be a great idea to do something around fashion, around digital fashion, because if you look to the States, it's already good and very well embedded, but here you see it's not, you don't see it really coming off the ground, and definitely not on the continent, maybe a little bit in UK, but definitely not uh, in Belgium or let's say Spain uh, and, and so forth. And then, okay, we started brainstorming with one of our mentors, uh, a game developer from Sangari Games. And we were like, oh yeah, let's have a fashion game jam. Wouldn't that just be excellent to have fashion game jam? But then, hmm, we were like changing a little bit uh, the methodology and also the concept. So it ended up last year having a fashion and game lab in Ghent, together with our UK partners, the Danish partners. But it was really, really difficult. You know, people liked the idea, but still you, you found some resistance to it. It was a bit like, yeah, cool, but... So we ended up with 10 people or something. But it's difficult finding a common language. Voila, it was finding a common language. Indeed, indeed, indeed. And at the end of the day, the concepts and the ideas that came out of it were really, really great. So everybody was like, wow, amazing, super. So we were like, okay, maybe we just have to, indeed, a common language form formulate it a little bit differently. So it's it's all like okay, games is also part is digital tool, da -da -da, digital media. So why not say digital fashion lab? So where it's much broader. So where uh, things are covered being going from 3D printing to 3D environments like a virtual catwalk using a Unity engine for that, uh, all or not connected to e-commerce using social media or 3D for, printing. 3D printing, yes, absolutely, and also yeah, using social media to connect to your communities and so forth. So it's the idea to inspire people first, to stimulate them, to get connected to each other, and then in the afternoon let them rock and roll and shoot many as crazy ideas as possible. And also it's not a one-off thing because there's like a next phase, a next phase is, phase is a fashion hack where they can build their ideas to prototypes and where there's also some financial pitching connected to it. But this is not the only thing. We also are looking further and thinking about setting up an international project with UK, with Belgium, and a third partner to have a stimulation acceleration project here in Europe for that specific niche. But this type of digital fashion workshop could work outside of Europe. Absolutely, absolutely. So a friend of mine and, and who's often in Africa, she already mentioned it to me, like, wouldn't that be a great idea if we also set something up in Africa? And I'm like, perfect, that would be just great. So, and also the interaction about the stuff that they would be doing with those different kind of tools and what we are doing and transfer of knowledge and experience would just be amazing, I think, yeah.